Hours takes an in depth look at an Easton couple's crusade to clear their son's name. Back in 2010, a New York police officer shot and killed DJ Henry, saying that the college student's actions left him with no choice. But friends and witnesses tell a different story. DJ Henry, a junior football player at Pace University, was liked by just about everyone who knew him. A joy, a Pied Piper in the neighborhood. All of the kids loved him. In the early morning hours of October 17th, 2010, his parents got a call in Easton that would change their world. DJ was shot to death in his car. I remember just falling to my knees. And I said, who would shoot him? DJ was out celebrating with his teammates when bar patrons got into a fight. Police say DJ was parked in a fire lane in front of the bar, and when he was asked to move, he sped towards Officer Aaron Hess, propelling the officer onto the hood of his car. That's when the officer shot into the front windshield. I spoke to James Brown of 48 Hours. Did the officer make it sound as though the, the weapon just discharged, or did he aim and fire right at DJ as the driver? No, Officer Hess made it clear that he fired intentionally at DJ because he felt that his life was threatened. DJ's parents say that explanation doesn't make any sense. Something had to have happened if that happened. Like, wh what caused him to do something that's so outside of his character? Desmond Hines, one of DJ's friends who was in the car that night, says the shooting was unprovoked. We're in a wild, wild west. That's what it felt like. Despite the conflicting stories, Officer Hess was cleared of any criminal wrongdoing. Brown says that decision prompted the Henrys to search for answers on their own. I think most of America will be gripped because, again, the pursuit simply was what's the truth, have the truth, have the facts come out. We're not anti-police. We're just trying to understand what the facts tell us. Was it a justified shooting or was it not justified? Because if it wasn't, it was murder. You can watch 48 Hours Defending DJ tomorrow night at 10 o'clock right here on WBZ, and it really looks excellent.